Hi, welcome to Bearded Meeple. Today, we're going to take a look at a game for two to four players, ages 13 plus, and it'll play between 40 to 60 minutes. But here's the thing, folks. While I do love tile-based games, I've got a lot of them. And today's game, if they had gone with just a traditional cardboard game, it would have been a sleeper on those shelves. But they didn't, and that's the thing. It really made this game come alive. Its board is very unique, the components are amazing. This game has definitely earned a spot on my shelf. It's brought to us by Lay Waste Games. It's Dragoon. Let's take a look at it. Each player will receive a cave, a dragon, a dragon skull for tracking score, and nine claim tokens. The cloth playing board will be populated with tiles of villages or cities based on coordinates rolled. On the scoreboard, each player will place their dragon skull, and you'll also place the human skull that will track the thief's treasure during the game. When it comes to cards, cards do not cost any actions to play, and there's no maximum hand size or limit to the number of cards you can play on your turn. White cards, they can only be used during your turn, and the red cards can be used outside of your turn at specific times. Let's take a look at the setup and the gameplay. Depending on the number of players, a dragon will begin in its cave in a certain location. Each player will receive three cards. You're ready to begin. On a round, three things will happen. Populate, actions, and tribute. When it comes to populate, you will take the dice and roll the number of times equal to the number of players plus one. So in a three player game, you're going to roll four times. Every time you roll, one of three things will happen. The first is you're going to populate with villages based on the coordinates of the die roll. If there's a dragon or the thief's treasure already there, you still place the village. If you roll and there's already a village there, you would flip the tile and it becomes a city. Or if a city or a cave location is rolled, or there's simply no more tiles, the thief will gain three gold on the score tracker. When it comes to actions, the first thing you'll do on your turn is simply draw a card and add it to your hand. Remember, there's no hand limit and you can play as many cards as you want as long as you're able to do so on your turn. And you have three action points to use. You must use them all. Actions include moving, taking over a tile, destroying a tile, or even stealing gold. And yes, while you have three actions you must use in the game, the cards will gain you additional actions and options to strategize so you can get that gold to win. And during tribute, any locations that you have claimed have the potential to pay you gold. The first player to 50 or more gold will win. And that, my friends, is Dragoon. A couple of things I'd like to say. You know I love tile-based games, so I was instantly drawn to this one. And yes, while the gameplay is fairly straightforward, it's still a well-rounded, solid game. You're going along, destroying things, claiming gold, and using the cards to the best of your ability. But what really brings this game alive and makes it stand out in the market is the components. I love the cloth board. I love the metal pieces. It really just makes this game come alive. And as I said, it definitely earned a spot to stay on my shelf. I hope you get a chance to check it out. I'll talk to you again soon. <music>